but you've got to die to your old self. I talked about return to the Father or atonement with the Father. Well, of course, it's atonement with the physical Father. It's the men, the men in the tribe. There needs to be a level of trust and understanding for survival and for a myriad of different reasons, but the men needed to come together as men and were different than the women, and here's why. And it's that why and the how that was important. And one of the things with the father would instill in the boy is the sense of belonging to a long lineage of fathers. It's so befitting in the movie Lion King when the young lion cub is in the wilderness, so symbolic. He's lost his father, but the elder finds him, the old monkey, and brings him up to the mountaintop and points to the sky and says, look, you've got a responsibility here, kid, and you're not alone. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your tribe, but look, you owe it to all of the fathers that came before you, your father, your grandfather, your great-great-grandfather. And it's so funny because, you know, these are spiritual ideas. Those fathers are long gone. They are ancestors. And all that resides, all that's left is their pattern, which is where the word paternity comes from. You are a physical expression of that eternal pattern or father, paternity. So there is a deep sense of belonging, a deep sense of meaning, and a renewed sense of responsibility. Oftentimes with a new name, they would come back with a new look, you know, sometimes a scar or a tattoo. You're no longer even recognizable or recognized as that childish version of yourself. You're new and you not only come with your newness, but you bring the, the strength of the fathers.